underlying idea of our master in international relations is that to understand politics, we need to understand its international or global dimension. We need to understand the conflicts that surround us and how can they be solved or transformed into cooperation. We really have two core targets in our program. One is to help students navigate global politics, to get deep academic insight into the field of international relations and to delve into the core areas of global politics, such as the economy, environment or security. And we do all this within a deeply interdisciplinary framework, with politics at its core, but at the same time with overlaps, for instance, into international law or international economics. Our second target is to help our students develop the skills that they will need in their future careers. So analytical and research skills, the ability to think critically about complex problems, and of course language things and other so-called transferable skills. What was really important for me is, besides acquiring some general knowledge of contemporary international politics, this program also gives us opportunity to specialize in the sphere of international organization, global political economy or international law. I think through individual specialization, you obtain specific tangible and transferable skills which are crucially important for our future careers. Additionally, I think that Maine presents a top-notch opportunity to explore and understand the problems of international politics. Interdependence of global actors has reached such level that it seems impossible to develop appropriate policy responses through traditional disciplines, working in isolation from one another. Thus, the interdisciplinary nature of this program is best suited to look for very complex answers to complex issues. Besides emphasis of an uh, interdisciplinary nature of this program, I would say that we have very interesting and equally practically oriented set of uh, subjects. I'd like to highlight some of them, like first of them probably would be international organization, where we attain specific knowledge and skill set in order to understand how global institutions function within the main area of IR, including security, economic development, environment and human rights. I would also would like to mention another very interesting seminar for me was Approaches to Modern Conflict. This course provided very broad approach and specific conceptual tools to analyze contemporary conflict. I should also definitely mention the crisis game where we simulate real-life international crisis. And during the class, we have the opportunity for a short while to actually become a representative of certain country which strives to solve some kind of global international crisis. And what, what was really amazing for me is that besides in-class preparation, the crisis event itself takes place outside the class in the mountains. If I were to name one thing that I enjoy most about being a lecturer in this program, it is the community of students that we have here. A community that is very international in its scope and that is very diverse in terms of the academic background. We have had students coming from more than 40 different countries and we have students that come both from political science and international relations from their bachelor studies this is the majority of our students, but also students that come from very diverse fields such as sociology or media studies, economics, law, history, and so on and so forth. Geographical scope of enrolled students is really amazing. I literally have colleagues from all around the world, including Asian, European, North or South American regions. I truly believe that studying in such vibrant and diverse community is valuable as a to my personal and professional development. Understanding that there are myriad of opinions and insights from different people really helps us to bridge the gap between the culture, which I find to be invaluable life experience. Our graduates pursue their professional careers in very diverse fields. So for example, our graduates work in international organizations, one in the NATO, another in the International Monetary Fund, 
another in the International Organization for Migration. Other graduates work in national public administrations, in the United States State Department, for example, or in the diplomatic service of one of the so-called emerging powers. We have a lot of graduates working in businesses, in the corporate sector, both here in Prague, starting their careers here in Prague, because many multinational corporations have their seats here, or in their home countries or other countries of the world. And we also have graduates in academia. One former student of ours pursues his doctoral studies at a very high-ranking uh, German university. And I should say in the connection to uh, careers that we have a very popular internships program where most of our students take one internship during in the course of their studies. Whenever me and my colleagues are discussing what might be our prospects for the future careers, I would say that professional preferences are quite diverse because of interdisciplinary nature of the program itself. As I'm at the end of my studies and I'm a second year student, I decided to start my career in very reputable global research company. So what are the reasons to study our masters in international relations? First, IR is a highly regarded discipline, very popular among students and very popular among future employers. Second, our program is truly interdisciplinary. It, this is something that is going to help you understand the challenges the world will be going through in the coming years and decades. And of course, this is going to help you in your careers. I found an amazing international community, truly enriching and overwhelming for me, because I think you learn a lot of things from people with different cultural backgrounds, and we're all having a lot of fun in Prague together.